Hey YouTube, we've been trying to figure out what we want to do with our backyard. The plan is to put a fire pit here and then we can sit around it. Going to research what kind of fire pit and style and also if there's any building codes that I need to follow. All done with research. I'm going to try one of these smokeless fire pits. The shopping list looks pretty easy. Just paver blocks, a metal fire ring, and some sort of drill bit to cut holes in the fire ring. Let's go shopping. Just got back from Home Depot. These were <laughs> pretty, pretty heavy. Got a good workout in. Going to use the dolly to help me transfer everything into the backyard. It is looking like a fire pit. The videos I watch for the smokeless design have gaps on the bottom layer to get air circulation. The paved rocks and retaining wall rocks didn't fit perfectly, so I had to use a couple of these smaller pieces to fill in the gaps. Going to take the metal inner ring into the garage to drill some holes. The reason why I'm doing this in the front yard is because of these metal shards. Occasionally the kitty cats will go into the backyard. So we wanted to try to keep that out of their paws and definitely wear your safety goggles, face mask and ear protection. Let's get a fire started. Moment of truth, these rocks are from that pile over there my wife has been <laughs> wanting to get rid of for a long time. We have dryer lint down here with cardboard for kindling. These random pieces are from my chainsaw videos. Let's go for it. The fire pit is still going. Video number 52 done. The reason why we started this video was actually for a paper shredder because in our office, I am trying to get rid of as many outlets as possible. And that paper shredder, just takes up an outlet by itself so i'm like 
well, I'll make a fire pit and then we could burn all the documents.